What's up guys, Go here and welcome to episode 3 of Missy's Mission. We are back with a third episode within about 48 hours of EAFC being out. That is absolutely correct. This game is so good right now. I am enjoying it so much. There is so much to grind and today is like no other. It is just going to be filled full of packs. No gameplay. I am purely opening packs. We need to get the team better and to do that, to get coins, we need to open these packs. So without further ado, we're going to hop straight into it. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to leave the video, like, rating, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know down below who I should be adding to the club. Who should I do evolutions on? Who are you guys doing evolutions on? And with that being said, Let's get into it. So here we are then in two ultimate team. Now we're going to start off by loading into the game. The reason I'm going to say that is for one reason only. Um, we've been grinding the game out a lot. I'll be honest with you. I've spent about four to five hours since the last recording just absolutely grinding out the game. Now this video is going to be out on the day of EAFC Mad Ready promo. However, this video won't actually contain anything to do with it that will be in tomorrow's episode we will have our 4600 thief points for the game we will start using them then however for now we're going to go without them now as you can also tell we have lost a few coins since last time around we've also changed club badge we finally got a liverpool badge i've also changed to have the home kit the liverpool kit it's kind of fitting apart from objectives we're always going to use liverpool kit because why not um but yeah in terms of what we've done as you can see we've got four objectives complete we've got eight packs in store and we have one club thing ready to go. Now, this is the team. It has been upgraded since last time. Um, I have changed a few things around. Reason being, we just needed to make the most of our players. A lot of these cards are obviously a lot better. We've reached level one. So, obviously, I decided to add Williamson in. Um, and, again, just using different cards here and there. The only card we bought for the team is Gehi. Um, everybody else we had packed in the 50k pack, I think it was. Um, so, obviously, that's helped us out quite a bit. Um, the bench isn't looking so good. But, as I say, it was able to help us out a little bit for objectives. And what that did also allow us to do is this. This is one thing that I'm very happy about. We have done another part of Missy Bokern's evolution. So it does take it to a 75 rated, which is a gold card, which is absolutely fantastic. So what it does mean is on top of the card that we already had, it adds one overall, plus three to passing, a tiki tacker play style, which obviously is going to help a lot more in the midfield, and then three defending. So when she's getting back and defending, it's obviously going to help out a little bit more. So again, not the best stats, but it is something. So now I'm going to obviously work on trying to get this done as well over the next sort of 24 hours before the next video. We're going to try and get two goals scored and play five more games in rivals. Again, fairly simple to do. It will allow us to continue on the rival grind to get the points that we need for foot champs. So not too bad. Um, I think it just continues on straight away. We can also start looking at possibly adding in another evolutions here or there. As soon as we get the 1,000 thief points from the 4,600, we're going to do this. Now, this is the easiest way for me to do it. Using 1,000 thief points there saves us having to get the 50,000 coins. We're going to use Ivan Perisic. I think he's ideal. Um, and speaking of Ivan Perisic, I did build a team that we probably want to build towards. Um, this team is probably what is going to be ideal for the first weekend league and um, now obviously it might change depending on who we pack but this is going to be what we're going for now not quite full chemistry all that we need to do is add in i think it's a, a la liga manager possibly um and it should work out for chemistry um uh, yeah i think a la liga manager helps us oh, the only one won't be bernardo silver on full chemistry but that's absolutely fine he's 88 rated this card is fantastic the games that I used him in were very, very good. Obviously, Missy Bokerns is very good as well. Seven assists, one goal, and nine matches played. She was fantastic for us. Obviously, we saw her in the first game that we played, and we did obviously show that. But in terms of gameplay, until we get into like foot champs or some really tough games, there's no point we really, really showing it because there's not really too much to show. We might do a draft here or there as well with the thief points that we get. So obviously you can show that. But this is the team that we want. So Joe Gomez gives a lot of chemistry to Missy Bokerns, which is obviously a big help. Ledesma gives chemistry to the players that we already have. So that's why he's in the team. Ivan Perisic, I want to evolve into the left winger. Um, he goes to an, like an 85 rated and looks really, really fun to use. Matip will also be our centre back that we evolve. And then eventually, if we can get hold of Darwin Nunes, he will be our evolutions card for the striker for the foundations. However, um, he is quite expensive. He's currently around the 25k mark, which he's come down a little bit in price because of marquee matchups, which we are going to get into now. Um, but yeah, quite expensive for a lot of these cards. So as I also said at the top of the video, we have lost a few coins. Now, 
We won't do the objectives yet. We are going to go and complete marquee matchups. I've gone through and built everything, basically. Um, saves us having to sort of sit here, work it all out, go, okay, well, what are we going to do? The teams are just ready to submit. So these are all the cards that we are going to get rid of. Again, buying a few cards. So we spent about 400 coins here. That's 600 coins. And then the rest, everything is all first owner from. All of the bronze and silver packs that we've opened over the last sort of day. It allows us to get that done. So that's a tradable 7.5k pack. Obviously, in the store already, we have lots of gold packs and 7.5k packs. And then two two uh, gold packs, which is obviously where we got the uh, Bernardo Silver from. So hopefully, we get something there. Um, in terms of the next one for the PSG one, again, super, super simple to do. Most of these cards we had already. So 350 coins there, then another 400. So 750 coins. That takes us to 1,150. And then that's it. Again, using cards that we already had. A lot of these cards we're never going to use. This whole point to the account is just to use up the cards that we don't need that aren't in the first team i'm not looking to card collect on this i'm purely looking to build the best team that we can to make the most of the account that we have and we've been able to do it so far so again another 350 coins there another 350 there considering you need an atletico madrid player absolute pennies which is fantastic so there's 700 coins that we spent on this and then another 350 there so literally again another thousand coins so far we spent about two and a half thousand nearly three thousand coins which i don't think is too bad in my opinion and then the arsenal one this one cost a little bit more and um, we had to go and buy a few gold cards obviously we are well above the rating and um, it's just a case of because of the chemistry and what i had in the club this was the easiest thing to do so we bought matty cash so we spent about a thousand coins there then another bit here so that's 1400 coins then we also bought kamara which is another well actually we bought quite a lot of players so this one's probably cost us about 3000 coins to do but you get a prime x player pack back which is decent all the other ones are good the atletico madrid real madrid is a small prime goal pack it's actually very good and then in terms of doing all of marquee matchups you get a 25k pack so the packs back here are already really good then on top of that we can start using these cards to either sell them on and buy players or just add these into the extra advanced league so maybe we do one of these to finish off today's video i'm not 100 percent sure but for now what we are going to do is we are going to rip some packs open now i'm just going to rip these open if we get anything good i'll show it but if not we're just obviously just going to sort of fly through these because these are never normally that good mm. is that martinez okay i did not expect this straight away but we've gone and packed an 84 rated martinez which is not too bad it is a very usable card. He isn't super good in terms of his height. However, at the start of the game cycle, I mean, he's really not worth anything. But he can play as just a centre-back. Maybe we look at adding him into the team. Apart from Bernardo Silva, that's actually our best pack pull so far. Right, so this is the final untradeable 7.5k pack. These were all right. They weren't great. Um, we've got a few higher rated cards which is going to help us out in the long run obviously all of these cards being untradeable are going to mean they just go straight back into SPCs. any tradable cards we may look at selling on um but obviously martinez was a very good pull there um, and then it means we move into the tradable packs now not a lot of these packs are good uh, there are a few poor packs which is absolutely fine so starting off with a seven and a half k pack it's probably not going to be anybody good there i will be honest with you um yeah i mean she's half decent for the fact of the you know she's real madrid she's got the la liga feminista links i think it's la liga feminista um yeah it's not a bad act it's not actually a bad card it's just all women in that pack as well which is unusual because normally you do get like a few men in that pack but clearly you're going to get that from now on and um, the chelsea theme we will get rid of and same with the union berlin we'll also get rid of the csl and the Serie b just to try and make a few coins back it does also mean we get a tradable gold pack which is a nice added bonus to this pack. Um, I do not mind that whatsoever. So a Spanish left winger, it is not going to be good. And um, that's absolutely fine. If it was Ansu Fati, I may change my mind on who we obviously do as an upgrade. But a basic is going to be good at some point. It won't be good right now. Again, all of this type of stuff, anything to do with crowd chance that are worth coins, we're going to just discard them. They don't sell on because obviously everybody's trying to sell them. So for now, it's just a case of making the most of them. So, we've got a mixed player pack to start off with. Again, this is just going to be a silver card as our main player, which is absolutely fine. As soon as we can get an icon or hero, though, that would be very nice. If we can get a double walkout, that would be good. Um, sadly, no cards are probably going to sell on. We've got maybe the Dutch guy because, yeah, Dutch could sell on. Because, obviously, you need the Dutch players for marquee matchups. We may be able to make a few coins out of him. But apart from that... 
French players, yeah, we'll probably make a little bit back, but I think I'd rather keep hold of it. Just for now, with obviously different SPCs that we need to do, I'd rather keep hold of some of these cards. We can then move into... Hmm. I think we move into the Prime Mixed. We do get four gold cards. I don't think it's going to be a walkout. It is just going to be... Uh, it's going to be um, a Choa, which isn't too bad. He is a rare card this year. He is 70. Oh, no, he's 81 rated. Okay, so not too bad. Um, again, decent rating if we needed a Serie A player, but we kind of don't right now. Again, apart from that, nobody else is really going to sell in this pack. Maybe a Dutch player again selling. Bronzers aren't. Well, they're selling for probably about 300. Making the most of marquee matchups, because why not? Um, so, obviously, that's going pretty well for us. And then we'll go into the two untradeable packs because obviously these aren't going to be as good as maybe the 45k so these are from the foundation um spcs from the group awards and possibly an objective here there or everywhere Jorginho is a very nice start that could have been tonali but it isn't so that is a bit of a shame 83 rated on Jorginho this year not the best but you know could be a lot worse um he isn't too bad and then we also get um Gnock, which again for SBCs, maybe for an objective here or there, we will get some good use out of them. And then into the second one, I think this might be half decent. It is going to be Diego Dallo again, which is a little bit frustrating because we've had him three times so far on this account. And well, I don't really want him, I'll be honest with you. Um, it also means that he is an untradeable duplicate. So because of that, I don't really want to waste cards right now. Let me go and try and find an SBC to deal with him. Right then, so this is the SBC we are going to do. It is Elite 8, which does give us a 50k pack. Now, the only card that we've had to go and buy is Sarabia, which is absolutely fine. Every single one of these we have been able to pack, whether that's from the 7.5k packs, whether that's from objective packs, it doesn't really matter. Um, some of these cards are untradeable. The majority of these cards are untradeable, so most of these will come from the 7.5k's rather than the packs that we've just had for marquee matchups, say like Veltman, he was tradable. But it does mean we can get rid of Dallow and get a 50k pack. So we've already opened one of these, which was untradeable, obviously in last video, and it wasn't so good from moments. So the question is, can this one be any better? So we'll obviously open that towards the end of this uh, because we don't want to open that straight away. We'll open the 25k pack first because I feel like the small primes normally pay out better. So again, we have... I think this could be a decent card. A German cam from Bayern Munich is going to be... Is that Musiala? No, it's not Musiala. It is going to be a Dalman, though, which is 84 rated. I didn't think it was a walkout, so that's why I didn't think it was Musiala. There's going to be a lot of trolls this year. A lot of people have been having them already. I'm not going to be so like, oh my god, it's this card. But Dalman, a very, very nice card. Looks pretty decent. If we need to use her, maybe off the bench, we can obviously do that. It is tradable as well. Botman in there as well. Decent little card um, for any Newcastle fans. Sadly, can't do the upgrade on him. That would have been quite nice. An 84 rated is 1,000 coins. Kind of says it all right now. Um, apart from that, sadly, nothing too else. Um, we will obviously send anything transfer list up there. And a lot of these cards we are just going to be using in SPCs because not really any of them have much of a value. I will obviously go through and check in a bit just in case. But the majority of them aren't going to hold too much. So we'll then move into the small prime gold pack. Obviously, this is for the Atletico Madrid Real Madrid. It is going to be a Spanish left wing back Ooh, from Bayer Leverkusen. That's Grimaldo, isn't it? That's again, that's another really, really nice card. 84 rated this year. Actually has some very, very nice stats on him. If we need to move into the Bundesliga at any point, he'll be pretty good. Obviously, we've already got Balde. Grimaldo is a little bit better, so maybe we look at using him um, if we do need to build a team. That way, we've got Davidson, we've got Fabra, and then obviously a few other cards. So, it's sadly nothing too, too good. Um, Grimaldo, again, selling for around 3,000 coins. So, we've not really made anything back from marquee matchups. We've just made what we can. And then we've got the 50k pack. So, for now, before I continue on with some objectives in a second, a 50k pack, it's a minimum 83+. plus. Is this going to be our first special card? It is going to be Spanish. Centre mid. From Villarreal. Is that going to be Parejo? Is that going to be a walkout? It is going to be a walkout. It is our second walkout. Sadly, not a very good card. Sadly, not a double walkout either. Obviously, in the Liverpool kit, looks so much better. Yeah, but Parejo is good, but sadly not too good. There is a possibility of a lot of decent cards in behind. A lot of the lower rated cards that are meta. So, we could get something good. It isn't going to be quite the case. Russo is very nice. Obviously, she doesn't really hold too much value either. 
Um, but she will be quite good for the English and the Women's Premier League links. We've also got Lucas Vazquez, which isn't bad. Caicedo's in there. Xavi Simmons, again, another card a lot of people like. He's about 2,600 coins, so probably our most expensive player we got. Looks pretty decent. Jacob Ramsey's in there as well. Quite a usable card. So a lot of options that we can definitely add to the team. And then in behind, we've also got, yeah, nothing really too special. So a lot of cards that will obviously help us out for more SBCs. And a lot of cards are half decent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, check out a few different bits and bobs, maybe do another Evo on Missy Bokerns, and we'll be right back. All right then, so as I said, we, we needed to work on our objectives. I haven't really done too much in terms of the team, in terms of the club, but we've just been doing like bits and bobs here and there to get a lot done now. Obviously, a lot of the packs that we had just previously opened were from, obviously, over here, doing all bits and bobs like this. So, again, just buying another um, injury item will give us coins. And then, like, yeah, not really ideal, but a customization pack, it's fine. Again, foundation moment. Again, a few of these from doing the stars yesterday. We get bits and bobs there. Building 23 chemistry, we get the coins. So, all of this stuff is quite simple to do. Um, and this is just stuff that you'll genuinely do from doing different SPCs. So, by doing the foundation three, we got a silver pack. So, again... Not too bad, just by building even concept teams, you get the chemistry on them, which is very nice. We still need to do the world tour, um, but again, we can eventually get around to doing that, which is more than fine. Um, again, this doesn't really offer us too much in terms of rewards. We get a three common pack, then a load of coins, and then a two rare gold. It's worthwhile doing it for maybe a bit of time, but until then, I think I'm going to save doing that. And then obviously we did the squad maintenance, which again gives us a few more there. Then you go into milestones and there's a few different bits and bobs that we have completed. So here we've done a few different things in the moment. So that gave us a few packs there. Um, and then we, I say we're just working through things over time. So buying players, selling players, obviously eventually you get a few bits done. So that was like a 1500 coin that we got there at some point. SPCs were working towards this. So once we do another few SPCs, we'll obviously get a two rare gold pack, which these packs aren't going to be too bad for us. Obviously they help out a little bit and um, sadly no big reward at the end for them. As I say, moments you get a 100k pack just by doing these. Um, and these aren't too hard to do. All you need is high-rated teams with chemistry to complete this. So it might be something that we look at doing maybe in the next day or two. Um, I can pick up on this and get that all sorted. For a 100k pack, I think it's absolutely worthwhile doing. Um, it is fairly simple to do. Obviously, all the stadium stuff, you get this done by playing games. We played one game of squad battles just to try and get the Missy Bokerns evolution done quicker. Um, so, obviously, that helped out a little bit. Rivals, we've won two games. So, we've won three games all, all together so far. It's not so good, but, you know, we're getting there. Um, but, yeah, lots of different things that we're obviously achieving there. And then seasons as well. We're still getting packs from this um, by completing the daily objectives, um, which we've already done. So, as soon as we get into the daily objectives, we'll complete that. We'll get a little bit more XP. Playing another match will allow us to do this, and then winning two more matches will allow us to get that as well. So overall, we'll get a nice little chunk of XP there. Again, once we play through a lot more matches, we'll get more XP. Um, we've also done... We need to do this, which again is just on the transfer list. Should be fairly simple to do with a bit of bronze pack method that I will probably start doing at some point. Um, and I will show you guys how to do that soon. Um, again, that will allow us to get that complete. And then the founder's objective... We got all of this done by using the Founders Kit. Um, you get all of this complete, which allows you the majority of the XP, which you need for over here. So, we have a 75-plus play pick, which can give out. I've seen a Raphael Liao in one of these, so that would be quite nice. We also then have level 5 rewards, which are going to be very nice. We're going to take the 80x10 pack, um, but the 84x2 will be quite nice as well. And um, We've also got a 78x2 and then an 80x2 pack. So, slowly working towards that 83x10, which with the Nike promo being out, we should eventually get it for that. So, I'm super excited for that. So, we're going to start off with the play pick. This might be good, it might not be good, it's probably not going to be great, but if we can get a usable card than this, I'm not going to complain yet. It's going to be, Miggy Almiron is not bad, you know, Spinozola is decent, I'm going to take Almiron because with the Premier League theme, he probably fits us a little bit better. He is probably worth, yeah, about a few thousand coins there, which isn't too bad, Um, anywhere between a thousand and two thousand, so not really too too bad for you know what we're doing anyway and um, we will claim this reward in a second we obviously got the 78 times two pack again this should be fairly decent it's like a two rare gold pack just a little bit better and then same with the 80 times two it isn't too bad so with that being said we have our level five rewards and um, to start off eafc now there is the choice between an 84 times two pack and also an 80 times 10 pack i have a feeling we're going to get two 84 pluses in this anyway so we're going to take the risk on the 80 times 10 pack and hopefully get something good in it. Um, 
and yeah we're gonna go and rip that open now so obviously with these i think we're gonna finish on the 80 times 10 pack we obviously have these two that we're gonna open now there is another spc that i want to go ahead and submit to give us another 45k pack and then as i say we'll probably finish on that 80 times 10 and hopefully just get a few players to upgrade the team worst case we've added a lot of cards into the club for the next few days it's going to be a lot of playing the game which is absolutely fine it's not a problem we are going to get a german goalkeeper from chelsea it is going to be the female goalkeeper it is going to be burger so that is an 84 rated into the club which is very nice again not going to be very usable but for just a few games in rivals for a few games in squad battles not too shabby whatsoever and then duffer um doesn't look too bad four star three star pretty decent stats but not great considering the team that we've already got um she is 511 burger so it's not actually completely unusable but probably likely to end up in an spc if we get a good player spc soon then we'll definitely do that and then we've got the 82 um not the 82 pack the 80 times two pack again this should be something half decent i would hope it's going to be an italian goalkeeper this time from lazio it is going to be an 82 rated in Privadella. This Did this guy score the winner goal the other night in the Champions League? He might have done that. I can't remember. It might have been a different goalkeeper. And then in behind him, we do get Lopez. So it is going to mean that Lopez can be sold on. Now, he doesn't really have too much of a value, but we'll probably take the 700 coins for him because he'll sell on for that, which is very nice. So let me just go and take you into the advanced SBCs to do another one of them before this pack. So we're going to go into the nine yard SBC. Now, this one was fairly simple to do. It is using a lot of cards in the club that we could be using in a team, but I don't really think we need them. The only card we bought was Otamendi for a thousand coins. So that's where some of our coins has gone as well. Um, but we are, again, using tradable cards. I understand it's not ideal. Um, and at the start of the game, we could be selling these on to make a lot of coins to buy players. But at the same time, we need packs. We want to we want to hopefully get something good in packs anyway. So all of these cards are going to go in. Obviously, we needed a bit of rating as well. So that's why we are using them. But we get a 45k pack, which can warrant some good stuff out of it. Um, and then also what it's going to do, worst case, is just give us a load of untradeable cards that we can use throughout the rest of the SBCs. There's a few that I'm looking at where I need like one or two extra cards. So it wouldn't be too bad. So this 45k pack is going to be a Spanish left winger from Barcelona. Is it Pau Torres again? Because if it is, that wouldn't be too bad. It is going to be Power Torres. It is another card that we already own, which is absolutely fine. However, this one is untradeable. So we might need to find another SBC before we go. Hirodeki, Traore in there, Cavani in there as well. Obviously now over with Boca Juniors. And um, we've got Mateus Rees, Tammy Abraham, who has been spotted playing the game recently. Obviously out injured for the year, um, but very, very nice. So yeah, we need to put Fernand Torres into an SBC. I think I know where we're going to put him. Right then, so this one took a little bit of time to do, but because of the packs we've opened, because obviously this is what we've been trying to do, Fernand Torres has allowed us to complete this. Um, again, we spent a few thousand coins of this, so 1,200 coins there, then another 750, so what? That's 2,000 coins, then nearly another 3,000 coins for him, and that's because his minimum price range is this price, so not ideal. So that's 5,000 coins, and then probably another... 3,000 coins it's cost us about 8,000 coins to do this which yes we could easily go and pick up a decent card for that I'm I'm fully aware that we could do that but we need to get rid of Fernand Torres and a rare mega pack is a good opportunity to pack somebody new that we might I don't know use at some point who knows what we're actually going to get so we've got the rare mega pack and then the 80 times 10 pack this should start giving us the fodder that we need now to get some good cards into the club so we'll start off with the rare mega pack obviously Pau Torres can go um not Pau Torres Fernand Torres can go back into the club um, and we will use him in the team so the mega pack is going to provide another Spanish player it is a goalkeeper it is going to be from Barcelona it is going to be one of the women's cards in an 87 rated Panos that is not too bad again Really, really nice rating. Decent for the links for us. Could possibly work into the team. Um, wearing the actually the exact same kit as me right now. Very nice kit that she's wearing. So, very nice that we get an 87 rated in here. There could be something big in behind as well. We get two informs. That is really good. And a Tiago Silva, which is... Not Tiago Silva. A Tiago, which is very nice. Obviously, not that usable this year. But we get two informs, which are definitely going to help us out if we get any SBCs along the lines this year. Um, especially over the next few weeks. Any player of the month SBCs. Anything like that could help us out a lot. Dali isn't too bad of a midfielder if we do need one of them. Um, but again... Nothing really too special in there, which is a little bit disappointing. And then we have an 83 rated um, in the buying player. Now, again, 
We could really do with putting her into an SBC. I think to save time, what I am going to do is I'm going to discard her and then I'm going to quick cell recover. Because we have the availability of quick cell recovers, um, we're going to do that. We also get some nice chem styles as well. So for some of the cards that we upgrade, definitely going to help us out. And then what it does mean is we are going to finish off on the 80 times 10 pack. Sadly, nothing really too big to upgrade the club yet. Um, again, we will look more so in the next episode at upgrading Missy Bo Kearns more. For now, it was just a case of getting the majority of things that we needed to do, getting all these packs ripped open, adding stuff to the club, showing you guys that it is quite easy to fill your club up with very little. And um, just by playing a few games, you can get stuff done. So the 80 times 10 pack is a Spanish striker. It is going to be from Atletico Madrid. It is going to be an 83 rated Alvaro Morata, which will get some game time. Um, I'm not going to deny that. He is actually going to be quite usable for us. But from an 80 times 10 pack, isn't an ideal. I would have liked the walkout in all honesty. Can we get something big in behind? We get Sergio Busquets. We get uh, Rauch. We get Schick. But sadly, nothing really too good. Paqueta isn't too bad. But really, that's not ideal. Uh, to be honest with you, Redondo isn't actually that bad of a card. Sadly, is well, four star, three star isn't the worst, but not great. Um, but yeah, a little bit disappointing in terms of that is all that we've got. So yeah, let me know what you guys are getting in your packs down below. That is where we're going to leave it for today's episode of Missy's Mission. Uh, not really anything to do with her today, but to do with the account. And hopefully in tomorrow's video, we can upgrade her to that 77 rated card. For now, that's where we're going to leave it. And I'm out. Peace.